it has been a logical working assumption that there's nowhere nearly enough ground yeah. because when people did find a lucky place, then they got a flood, came in a drought, or one of those things, and they tried to invade. So man has always been warring and coming. Um, so we do have uh, absolutely universal to economics yeah. and to political economics is the model mm -hmm. that there's fundamental inadequacy, fundamental scarcity. Yes. Therefore, all politics are based on the fact that there's not enough, there's not enough to go around. Someday, a whole lot of people are going to die. Mm -hmm. And you, I have a theory, mm -hmm. and my theory is the fairest, I think, and the, and the wisest and mm -hmm. the most economical. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you better join up with me, oh, I see, yeah. and your family better join up with me. Yeah. That's why I have a politician. Yeah. Now, realize then, then you're going to have a showdown, see, the result of seeing me may be enough for you, so we join yeah. up sides, yeah. and, and then we're going to have the great Armageddon, see yeah. which of the great world sides are going to win, the, yeah. the communists or yeah. the capitalists, whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that way. Having discovered there really is enough to go around, I then find then that politics are really now obsolete. People are so used to the idea, I got to have a leader. Yeah. They also had to have a leader when they, we were illiterate. We didn't have words. We yeah. didn't have the communication. We didn't have the information. Right. Suddenly, everybody, once there was just the pharaoh was in on the information, then the nobles were, yeah. then the middle class. Yeah. Just in this, this century, yeah. everybody's suddenly in on the information. Everybody's in on the vocabulary. Everybody can yeah. communicate. Yeah. So suddenly, it is really going to be everybody, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and everybody's going to have to know in a hurry mm -hmm. that there really is enough to go around. Now, mm -hmm. if there is enough to go around, and you and I know there is, mm -hmm. you and I don't need a politician to tell us how to make sense as we sit here. He doesn't mm -hmm. have to, politician tell you, now it's your turn to speak. Mm -hmm. You and I cooperate and try to bring out the information in, the, in a logical way. Yes. And society just does not be that Anyway, we're not mm -hmm. used to that. We're used yeah. to the idea not to go so we elect you and you, it's up to you to be yeah. sure that our side comes out on top. Mm -hmm. Now, that's where all the flag waving and all, mm -hmm. all the, the guns and everything are out there. But or it's just no longer, it's actually no longer so. Now, yeah. this is what, mm -hmm. we're up against either a bloody revolution ahead, yeah. thinking it has to be you or me, with mm -hmm. all the bombing yeah. capability, mm -hmm. 200 billion a year being spent to get ready for Armageddon by mm -hmm. the leading nation of the Earth. I say, we're going to have either a revolution of, of blood where everybody loses them, or it's going to be a design revolution where we do use the ephemeral race, we do do more than less, we do get all humanity successful by 1985. Mm -hmm. One of the, to me, I take very deep sense of responsibility that you and I are invited to be on the air to communicate mm -hmm. a number of people. Yes. Therefore, I say, the most important thing is how do we get all of humanity to find out what it is all about in the shortest possible time yes. that man does have the option to make it. He didn't That's know right. it, but now he has.